take me to church. Katie freaking Perry just watched me singing one of her songs. No way, that is not real. <laughs> oh my God. Ah! Hi, I'm Katie Perry, and you sang my song. I'll take your bad days with your good. Walk through the storm, I would. Do it all because I love you. I love you unconditionally. Yes, sing it with your gut. Take me to church. Let go and just be free. For me, um, the definition of love really changes over the years, and I think in the beginning it, it, it can be a little bit skin deep, but it's not about like what you wear or how great your Instagram pictures are. It's about like, hey, look, I don't care how the presentation is, I care about what's on the inside, and you don't have to like be a character, you can just be, just be. Let go and just be free I will love you unconditionally That was really lovely. The harmonies were magnifique. I even wanted to sing with you. I love you <laughs> unconditionally Yes, yeah, sing it with your gut. <laughs> mac and cheese. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I can't believe she was singing along with our our harmonies and ah! That was so cool. <laughs> Thank you, Katy Perry. Keep being awesome and an inspiration. You're pretty rad. <laughs> I smell like a mini bar DJ passed out in the yard. Barbie on the barbecue is this a hickey or wow. a bruise pictures of last night and it up on I'm screwed. Yes. Oh well. Oh well. She's got a great voice, so much range. Damn. <laughs> Last Friday night, yeah, we dance on tabletops, yeah, we took too many shots, think we could Where's my whiskey? So last Friday night, it was like a mid-90s stylized video. Super fun, super pop, very pop music video. It was just wild, but all of my videos are wild. I think I should just do simple videos now. She could do tricks. She could do like cartwheels with her voice. Do it all again this Friday night. Do it all again. This is how I'm gonna sing this song when I turn like 70 and my face is fully pulled back, like my skin is so thin, and I'm in like some kind of gorgeous fur. Oh, she's watching her video. I'm nervous now. Hope she likes it. I always get nervous when people watch our videos. Olivia, thank you so much for this interpretation of Last Friday Night. Olivia's going to freak out. Exactly She's going to be so doing. psyched. Let's see. Here we go. Oh, there's Katie Perry. Our DJ passed out oh in the yard. She's listening to me. Barbie on the barbecue. Is she really listening to me? Is she singing right now? I cannot believe Katy Perry is listening to me sing right now. <laughs> this is so funny. Katy freaking Perry said I had a good voice. I cannot believe it. Katy, if you're ever in the neighborhood and you want to stop by and make a cameo, you would be honored. Katy Perry, you're the best. Let's rage. I knew you were, you were gonna come to me. Yeah.
It feels like an important piece of music now. Something to be taken seriously. Not just like a fluffy pop song. I've always used a lot of analogies in my songs and they always seem to have like a theme. This was just like, you know, powerful feminine energy, kind of uh, mystical, magical, a bit witchy, I guess. Hey, nice. I really like seeing that interpretation of Dark Horse. It felt very expensive, very chic, very high end. It's so pretty. It's a pretty jacket. Yes. What's the jacket? Oh my gosh! Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Is that the same thing to her? Yeah. It feels like an important piece of music now. Not just like a fluffy pop song. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Katie <laughs> Thank you. That's mildly ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> kind of a trip to watch We're Katy Perry listening to your music. I was kind of secretly freaking out inside. <laughs> well, she's inviting to her next recital. <laughs> my song and hold my breath get to rock the ball to make a mess so i said quietly she's got a really good middle lightly. range you hear my voice you hear that sound like thunder gonna shake your ground you tell me down but i got up get ready cause i had enough i see it all I see it now i've got the eye of the tiger the fire I love that. Dancing through the fire. You're gonna hear me roar. You know, all these songs that I write are typically lift me up, kind of like, you can do it type of anthems. Cause I'm usually writing them when I'm like super low or a bit depressed. And so I kind of write these motivational songs to kickstart my engine again. You're gonna hear me roar. It's very cute, very soothing. She gave me some ideas. a good interpretation and she gave me some ideas no way that is not real no way oh, she's so amazing as a person and i'm just so thankful that we have someone like her out there in the music industry so oh, okay i'm like i'm still like shaking <laughs> Nice vocal texture. Ramona, oh, I love that name. It's a great name, great vocal texture. I love it. Feels like a package deal. Hard to resist, so touchable. So good to deny it. Ain't no big deal. So that was in 2008 when it came out. And I think we really changed conversationally in the past 10 years. We've come a long way. Bisexuality wasn't as talked about back then or any type of fluidity. If I had to write that song again, I probably would make an edit on it. Lyrically, you know, has a couple of like stereotypes in it. Your mind changes so much in 10 years and you grow so much. You know, what's true for you can evolve. No, 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 no. You're kidding me, right? Can I call my mom? 
<laughs> She's really serious. <laughs> Lovely texture in the voice. <laughs> Ramona, oh, I love that name. Oh my God. <laughs> Great vocal texture. I love it. <laughs> Ramona, I love it. <laughs> Can you give us a moment, like, to... Uh, we just, we I just, just want to cry, cry, cry. She cried. When we go to to the studio for record, recording, recording songs, we never know uh, Katy Perry. We never thought that Katy yeah. would... Yes. That a video could get to her, you know? Oh my god. This blew our minds, seriously. Thank you, Katie, again. I leave the gas on, walk the alleys in the dark. Sleep with candles burning, I leave the door on off. I'm leaving the road and running all the red lights. Did I get your attention? I love this song, I've heard forever! I'm still breathing I'm still breathing, it's on my very first record and it really brought me back um, to a time and how I used to write This song, it had no agenda and it came out um, very pure and I love his interpretation It's like re-inspired me Oh, we've been diagnosed so let's give out the ghost Cause I'm still breathing Well, that was a great trip down memory lane. Three, two, one. I'm leaving the road and running all the red lights. Oh my goodness. I love his interpretation. It's like re-inspired me. Did she really say that? She said that I re-inspired her? This was like, oh my god. <laughs> ah, getting a bit emotional. <laughs> Ooh, she actually sings along to me singing her own song. Katie is like the number one for me because um, she influenced my songwriting. She influenced everything that I did to this date. Can't believe that this actually happened. Ne never ever in my dreams I imagined something like that. This is the most awesome thing ever. <laughs> She knows all the words too. I'm inspired. That song to me is one of my favorite songs to sing because it seems no matter how young you are or how old you are, everybody like just brings it when firework comes on and it's just like, yes! Oh my gosh, she's an absolute angel and she's saying that with all of her heart. It gave me goosebumps. You've got something very special and hold on to it. Incredible kind of like R&B spin on it. I just love that he's kind of made it for himself. We're living in a bubble, bubble, so comfortable we can't see the trouble, trouble. Trouble. Looks so good. Hey. So put your rose-colored glasses on. I'm very impressed. The fact that you can reinterpret a song, play everything, sing, edit it, put some EQs on your vocals, very impressive. Kids are doing it for themselves these days. Oh.
Hey. Oh my god. Kids are doing it for themselves these days. <laughs> I'm, actu I'm actually speechless. That's. I can't believe she's watched it. It's really weird. It's, um, but, God, that's incredible. I'm, thank you. Oh, don't know what to say. Summer after high school when we first met We'd make out in your Mustang to Radiohead And on my 18th birthday we got matching tattoos Grab the bunch of blankets I hope and fake. climb to the roof. Talk about our future like we had a clue. They both have really good voices. I'd be losing you. This is a great duet song, and I've never really heard it as a duet song. It's great. I would be a girl. We'd keep all our promises. Be us against the world. The one that got away, I wrote it in my 20s when, you know, I was living in more extreme emotional times. And now in my 30s, I'm like, there are so many fishes in the sea. It's just like, what do you want today? And so I love this song, though, because I think we all think about a certain someone sometimes. It feels like you guys are either like lovers or past lovers, or it's an unrequited love situation between you two. I don't know whatever it is, but it's tearing me up inside, so you should figure it out. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. That's amazing. <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that. People always think with the looks and the way we sing together that there's something going on, but we are just friends and we haven't dated. I think they have fake matching tattoos, butterfly tattoos <laughs> on their neck. The tattoos are not real, no. Sadly, they faded after like five days. I've never really heard it as a duet song. It's great. <laughs> I can't believe that Katy Perry has seen our video. Very cool for uh, checking out our, our cover your song. You're putting out good stuff. Hold on, sorry, I'm just like speechless right now because this is so cool and so surreal. Um, Katy, I love you, keep rocking. I love your music, keep inspiring everyone. And uh, thanks for listening to my, my cover of your song. You're amazing. Thanks for watching our stuff. Oh, the one that got away.